Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, I'm going to show you how I did this entire look using all drugstore products. I wanted to do another holiday look, but I wanted to kind of switch it up and do more of a classic brown holiday look. So, when you think of holiday looks, you're always thinking about like, well, I'm always thinking like red lip, glittery eye, black smoky eye with silver glitter. So, I wanted to kind of switch it up and do something that goes with everything so um the products i'm using are some of my favorite products and i also have a couple of new products from ardell beauty they are sponsoring this video so i'm super excited to share some makeup from ardell beauty because y'all know i always wear their lashes but they have some makeup so i'm going to show you that in today's video and yeah so let's get to it now before we put on primer let me put something on my lips because they are dry I'm using Essence High Beauty Lip Balm. And I also went ahead and applied some, some Bolden SPF. So that's why my skin is a little bit, you know, irradiant because I have my SPF on. So primer, we're going to take my favorite primers, which are e.l.f. and Rimmel. So Rimmel London is the matte, e.l.f. is the hydrating. Um, I usually just put the matte on my T-zone and the hydrating everywhere else so let's put the rimmel on my t-zone rub it in and then just apply it so if you're new i have oily combination skin and i always try to put primers on the areas of my face that need that certain primer does that even make sense <laughs> so if i get oily in my t-zone i put on a mattifying primer on my t-zone and then everywhere else i just put whatever like whatever primer i'm feeling i like the elf hydrating serum because it's super super hydrating and it does come with a dropper so i just drop 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 a drop 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 and then just rub it in around the perimeter of my face now we're gonna go into the brows. Y'all know I love me a brow pencil. This is Elf Cosmetics Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I use the shade Deep Brown. I also wanna try out this Artist Brow Fill-In Set. This is by Ardell Beauty. Um, this is kinda like the Benefit um, Gimme Brow. Just obviously it's cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my brows with the brow pencil first. Let me at least brush it up though. And instead of filling the brows in with the pencil, I'm just going to line the brow underneath and then top. Because I usually do it all with the pencil. Like I line it and then I also fill it in. But today we're going to use the Ardell fill-in set. So now that they're lined, I don't know if you guys can tell my brows like in the middle. It's a little skimpy, so let's go ahead and fill that in with uh, dark to deep. They have other shades. I feel like this one will be best for me, so I'm just going to lightly stroke it. Yeah, this is definitely a dupe to the Gimme Brow. Okay, brows are full. Now let's take a concealer to clean up under the brows. I don't have a drugstore concealer, so I'm cheating right here, but um, yeah. All right, so the brows are done, and I think they look pretty good. They look pretty good, pretty full, so okay. So for foundation, I'm not really switching it up. I'm using my Holy Grails. This is the L Flawless Foundation in the shade Coco. I'm gonna put this on my T-zone, well, the center of my face, and then I'm gonna take my Milani Screen Queen. I haven't used this in a while. This is in the shade 480. I'm just gonna put this around the perimeter because this is a little bit dark. Um, since I haven't really gotten any sun, I feel like these two will be perfect. So taking Elf and putting it right here. And then the Milani, just squirting a little bit. Uh, if it'll come out, there we go. Just a little bit like that. See how warm Milani is? It's a good foundation though, but it is a little bit warm. But once you put the concealer on, it looks perfect. I did a full review on that foundation already. For my concealer, I'm taking the Elf Cosmetics Camo 
one of my faves and I'm gonna put it under my eyes. This is just gonna be my, um, my highlighting concealer. And I use the shade Deep Chestnut in this concealer. So now we need to set the concealer. So Rimmel London Stay Matte, if you don't have this, get it, get it, get it, get it. This is the transparent one. I'm just gonna set under my eyes. And then taking another Rimmel Stay Matte. This is just gonna set where I didn't set. So under my chin, right here. and then the temples of my forehead. So the bronzer I'm using today is the Revolution Glow Bronzer in the shade Dark. We're just gonna bronze the skin with this. And y'all know I like to use my e.l.f. bronzer palette. This is the, um, which one is this one? Deep. And I just use one shade in this because the other shades I don't really like. But I just use this for my nose. Um, just take a little brush and then kind of contour my nose. This shade right here. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this Wet n Wild Banana Powder and put it on the side of my nose like I always do. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. I wanna show you these before we actually do the look, but Ardell Beauty launched some new eyeshadows. This is the City of Angels um, Endless Shadow Play Palettes. So I'm gonna dip into this one and this one. So we have Hollywood and this one is uh, Beverly Hills. Let me show y'all how they look. So Beverly Hills is more of a neutral. I'm just gonna dip into the middle shade you can see that it's that brown right there. And then um, Hollywood, this is more of a smoky palette. So you have purple, blue, um, you have your black. So really, really cute. And then the other one that they have is called um, WeHo. I think I said that right, but here is what she looks like. So this is, um, really pretty as well it has the pinks and the purples and a gold since i want this to be very very simple um i'm gonna take the bronzer that i use the revolution glow bronzer and i'm gonna put this in my crease um, i'm gonna take the morphe m504 and we're just gonna pop this in the crease Now I'm gonna take the Hollywood palette and I'm gonna take the black shade in here using the same brush that I use and tap it right here on the outer corner. That's probably more than what I wanted because I don't want this to be too dark. So I'm just tapping it and then also blending it into the crease as well. And taking that same brush, wiping it off. Y'all know I like to stick with the same brush when I do my looks. So wiping it off on a napkin so there's not like too much of the black. And I'm gonna go back into my bronzer and take it in the crease as well because I want, I want it to look brown, not too, you know, I don't want too much of the black. You can see the difference already. See this and then this, you can really see the difference. And notice I'm staying over here, I'm not pulling it all the way over. I'm just staying on the outer corner of my lid. Just taking that bronzer and overlapping the black a little bit. The key is to blend, 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 blend. And then wiping the brush off again, getting most of that, that shade off. Now let's do 
Beverly Hills. So this color right here in the middle is a, it looks like a, um, I don't know, it just looks like it'll go with this look. <laughs> so, and it's a matte too. It's not like there's no shimmer whatsoever in here. So I'm going to put this where I didn't put any eyeshadow. So right here in the center, just tapping it and then kind of sweeping it over into those other shades, just like that. And that's it. That is my brown smoky eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes, which are the Ardell Remy 778s, and then I'll be back. Got the lashes on, now let's go ahead and apply some mascara. So I have the new Ardell Wispies 4D Mascara. And I like to put on mascara after I put on my lashes because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it looks better. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat, uh, coat my real lashes under my false lashes and then we're gonna go ahead and coat the bottom lashes with this. So I just take it and kind of wiggle it like this. I like how this doesn't come out clumpy and it feels like it's latching on to all of my lashes too. Now, since I'm going for a classic brown look, I don't really wanna put on any blush. So let me sweep this off my nose. Yeah, I actually like how this looks without blush. So we're not using blush today. We're just gonna keep it simple. Do some brown eyes, do a brown lip. And that's it. And sometimes I'll go back into the bronzer since I'm not using blush and I'll just kind of bring it up where I would apply blush, just a little further up. Just like that to warm up the side a little bit more. Now for the lips, I have a few options for lips. I have my Morphe Trendsetter Lip Pencil. I have my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. I also have the Revolution Pro Matte Lipstick. Well, it's a satin matte lipstick in the shade Latte. And then I have the Milani. This is a new one. This is the Milani. Uh, what is this even called? But it's their new lipstick. This is in the shade Tied Up. Now, I'm not going to use all of these. I just didn't know what lip I wanted to go for. I do know I want to line my lips, though. So let's line first. I think I want to take the Revolution Pro lipstick since this is like the lightest one out of the bunch and just take this. Yep, this is what I want. And then we're just mixing everything today. We're going to go in with the new Milani lipstick. This is a glossy lip ooh, that might pull red I don't want it to pull red and I like this mm -mm, let's, let's not do that because I want this to be a true brown like a brown brown look not like a red undertone or anything like that so I like this let's put a little like a tiny bit of NYX butter gloss on the center Give it a little bit more shine. This doesn't really take away from the color. It just gives it some shine. And now to lock everything in, let's go ahead and spray. I'm taking my favorite spray. This is a Bleed Beauty. And we're gonna set the face. And y'all know I love, love, love to layer my setting spray. So I'll go in with one that's gonna lock in the makeup and then I'll go on top of that with a hydrating spray. So this one is Olay Mist. It's the ultra, uh, the, the ultimate hydration essence. So we're just gonna take it and spray. All right, so this is it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I love how it came out. This goes with everything. You don't even have to worry about what you're gonna wear because this look goes with pretty much any color because it's neutral, it's simple, it's not too flashy, it's really, really pretty. So 
yeah i want to know if i use anything in today's video that you guys have already tried out what are your thoughts on the products do you like it do you not like it and i also want to know if you guys have tried anything from ardell beauty what are your favorite products so let's go ahead and talk about it down below in the comments thank you so much to ardell beauty for sponsoring this video if you guys enjoyed it give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye